Studies have shown that Americans are suffering from a lack of vitamin D. And vitamin D deficiency is widespread in African Americans. I checked my blood level. Normal blood level should be between 35 and 50. My blood level was 9. So who are our patients at risk of vitamin D deficiency? African Americans, they have more melanin in the skin, so they absorb less UVB radiation and they don't make as much vitamin D per unit of time they're out in the sun. Obesity. So, why aren't we getting enough vitamin D? Vitamin D comes from two primary sources, diet and the sun. A decline in milk consumption and the increase of sun protection may have resulted in us not getting enough vitamin D. Is food a good source of vitamin D? No. no. There are very few no. forms. It was very natural for our skin to develop its dark tone to be protective because we had an abundance of sunlight, right? We could produce enough vitamin D for years in Africa because there's so much sun. But now when you take these dark skinned people out of Africa, way above the equator, guess what? We're sun, we're sunlight deprived. I guarantee you every man in this room, if I check your blood level for vitamin D right now, if you're not on it, you're deficient. You live above the 37th parallel in the winter, you don't make any vitamin D. So you have to, our relatives, you have to tell them to Hard. supplement. In St. Louis, the heart of the country, 31-year-old Jasmine Dixon died Monday. Buried Tuesday, family members had to watch her funeral from a car. In Chicago, where they're disinfecting public spaces, retired nurse Patricia Friesen spent her life caring for others. She is now the first Illinois resident to die from the virus, but now her sister Wanda has also passed away from COVID-19. The latest, a detective with the NYPD. And now also an infant in Illinois, the youngest casualty yet. I checked my blood level. Normal blood level should be between 35 and 50. My blood level was nine. You can get adequate amounts of vitamin D. Fish, fish oil is the best source to get natural, high quantities of vitamin in Africa, D. So we need to look at and what, what is happening in Africa. As of last night, Africa has 2,700 cases. But here's why we should be bothered. There are only about five countries that account for half of these cases. South Africa, 709 cases, tops the number of cases in Africa. Egypt, Algeria, Morocco, Tunisia. Now, these are the five countries that account for half of the 2,700 cases we have in, in Africa. But here's what we need to see. Egypt, Algeria, Morocco, Tunisia. These are countries in Northern Africa. So we see a lot of the virus concentrated in Northern Africa. I can tell you this. Every person of color living above the equator, you are not getting enough sunlight. It is impossible. You got to take vitamin D if you live in this climate. You're not getting enough sun. That lab bag going to say, ain't nothing wrong with you. You're healthy. You said, but I don't feel good. I said, well, according to this, ain't nothing wrong with you. It's in your mind, something. But <laughs> your lab bag, you say you're fine. No, no, no. Your vitamin and mineral level dropped all the way down to that normal level, which means you are twice as sick. So you go back and you look at all the disease categories and sure enough, you're twice as high in all of them because you're trying to be healthy by another race's melanin you bag. You should have your blood levels checked. Very simple. So who's had their levels checked for vitamin D? Right. See, that's, that's not good. You know, everybody's doctor in here should be up on this. And if you're a person of color, so all of your doctors should have checked. And if they have not, the next time you see them, hey, can you check my vitamin D level? Let's find out. Now, if you're taking a multivitamin tablet a day, it's about 400 international units. The average African American needs three to 5,000 international units per day. It is very difficult to overdose on vitamin D, by the way. I take 5,000 a day, 5,000 international units a day. Okay, so what you're getting in a multivitamin is not enough. Our darker skin may also be a culprit. While the color of our skin provides a protection factor from the sun, it also keeps our skin from properly producing vitamin D from interaction with Research the sun. Research has also shown that a lack of enough vitamin D may contribute to other illnesses and diseases, such as increased risk of death from cardiovascular disease, severe asthma in children, cancer, diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, high blood pressure, and gum disease, 
all conditions that are especially common in African Americans.